going into it. I figure I might as well start this up while I figure out the setup in this game. I've just downloaded it, just booted it up. Let's see how it goes, see how it plays, see how it is. Actually gonna boot up. So, guys, we have access to Manor Lords right now. We are active with it. But let this, let, let's read this portion because this is very important to everything we're about to kind of go through. That Manor Lords, this, this is a pre-launch version of the game. So this is not the actual launch Canada. It may be the launch Canada, I don't know, but it's not the launch game. So what, right here we can see this game is still in development. Manor Lords is an indie passion project, and even though it's been seven years, the game still needs more time to be fully complete. Certain gamer platform features might not have might not work as expected, and you will probably encounter bugs or crashes. Feel free to drop feedback to us. Thank you for understanding as I continue to work on the game. Greg Manor Lords. This is a single individual who's developing the game. He's contracted out all the stuff like the graphic design and everything like that, the 3D design. So Greg is... A mensch, as they say. Let's do this. Let's kind of go through some of this stuff. The DLSS. It's kind of weird. I kind of put these things on. Quality. I don't know what dynamic DLSS is. Uh, full screen borderless should be fine. I'll put the frame rate up to 175 for whatever reason. Uh, um, medium on sharpening, because the sharpening don't want it to get too funky. Should be fine to put all this on ultra. We'll find out. We'll see how well you've optimized, Greg. Bring this down just a little bit. Music is great. Arthur glad to hear, it, man. I'm doing well, Crisp. I was just gonna play this on my own, but I figured since they did a, uh, um, since they did. No embargo. There was like, hey, there's an embargo on the review. You can't do a review until the 26th. But play the game, and there's no you can play it and show it off. So I figure, for those of you that are interested in it and want to see how the how the development has come since you heard about it all the way back during um, COVID, might as well do this together. So action actually, to drive username update the look. So I should be able to, I should be able to actually do this. Um, let me see if I can actually pop in. I mean, I don't need to do this on stream really, but this could be pretty fun. So you can actually load in a, a custom coat of arms if you so wish. Yeah, I can use my own logo. Um, they sent me a, a thing for it. Uh, email at Hooded Horse. Where is he? Where's Big Daddy Anthony for? Oh, a huge shout out too to Hooded Horse, by the way. Who, if you if you know who H for Havoc is, he is the individual who is now working for Hooded Horse, and he <sighs> made sure to get this over to me. Okay, so that's my custom logo. So that's not a that's not a PSD file. Okay, so I need to um. Place your square custom code.png file to import your the coat of arms. So let me see. I, if, if I don't, I've got two coat of arms I can see if I can drop into here. So let's see if I can do this. Um, update a local mana lord save. Okay. No, you'll be fine. In fact, I'll close my door. I have my apartment being cleaned right now, so. Uh, early access. I actually don't know if it's early access or or full launch, Alec, on on the twenty sixth. 
I think it'll be early access. Let me see here. Uh, the path is Mana Lords. Okay, so find it. Mana Lords saved. Saved config. I was just saved. Save games. Okay. And I save it as. Bishop Cousin would have been important. Okay, so let me see. Lots of JPEG. That's not going to work. Oh, you know what I'm going to do instead? Have a different one. Find it there. See. There it is. This should be a this should be a PNG. What is up, Shade Bane? Thank you, Alec. I appreciate it, bro. Um it didn't come out yet, no. Not out just yet. Okay, let me I have this, I'm sure, as the PSD file somewhere. I don't know where it is. I'll remove background if you can. This is a real old coat of arms I made when I was playing a um I was playing a fucking browser based RPG. What is this called? I have to name it Custom Coat of Arms. Custom Coat of Arms, okay. Custom Coat, okay. Let's put that in the assets. Save. No bees! Not the bees, anything but the fucking bees! Okay, so this should work. Goes into there. It's a PNG file. That. Open. Open. There we go. It didn't work too well, but you can see um, they sent me a template that I can kind of make it work with, so I'd had to have made it larger. You'll smell my fingers, Mark. Um. I definitely could make that work though. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I basically when I was in this like I was doing like a t like a like a browser based RPG, um, and I made a coat of arms for it. Hmm. Let it be known that this is by trade what I'm supposed to be able to do is graphic design, and I can't can do it, man. Not here. Let's do this here. Let's do that like that. Blow this up like this. Yeah, I don't think it would really it won't fit regardless because it's not the right like dimensions per se. It'll just kind of get cut off. Yeah, it's okay. Um, I might, I might have my friend help me with that. Um, okay. Would you, what kind of game is it? It's a, it's a strategy RPG. We're good. We're good. I'll just use that as is. And we'll kind of go with from there. Uh, portrait. Yeah. hundred percent. 
I mean, I don't have history lectures per se. Um, I can talk to you about what medieval towns are like, though. I think I'm going to have a talk. I don't know how all this works, what all this means right now. So we're just going to jump in and learn together. Uh, they did not, actually. Um, the majority of medieval towns were not these decrepit shitholes like we would imagine. Most of medieval towns were built around an estate or a manor. Um, and the, oh, so this is going to walk me through, but you're when you're ready, press claim, press claims towards regions owned by your opponents. This claim has been pressed by, um, here, so we'll do this real quick. We'll ask real quick. So a medieval town. Um, this is this is kind of okay. I think this is just a drawing. Like I said. Uh historic. Oh, oh. So it kind of also depends on what like history, what, what what portion of history we're talking about when it comes to medieval towns too. Because well, medieval towns have quite quite a wild past, and, and this is kind of an interesting one too. This this will do. That is terribly terribly small. Good lord. That's there. Okay, that's there. Sure, whatever. Cool. That'll do. Okay, so medieval towns of the time. Um, this I think this is just a really fun artistic rendition, but. Um, it's kind of like medieval skylines, but not really. You, you can actually fight with big old like armies and everything. And there's a lot of tactics involved. In like there's an actual RTS portion of it. Um, so the Dark Ages. What we kind of think of when we think about the Dark Ages, we think about the the fall of the Roman Empire, the collapse of the Roman Empire, and um, uh, the EA for the public Mergolato Mergolito is in 14 days. Um. Did you find a, a Russian medieval town? No, I did not, Bratan, I did not. Um, th this is in uh, Ad Henry, I don't know what the hell. Uh, I don't know what that is, all that is. Um, medieval towns though, so after the fall of the Roman, Roman Empire, we have Western Europe, which kind of falls into dissolution, right? We have all these places that were one point part of Rome. So, it's not like as soon as the Roman Empire fell, everyone immediately was like, well, let's cover ourselves in shit and let's destroy all this, this Roman architecture. The customs of Roman bathhouses and cleanliness and hygiene remained throughout the majority of the Middle Ages. It's, the, it's actually the, the later portions of the Middle Ages where you start to get a lot of squalor, the high Middle Ages, the high medieval era. But at that point, though, you've got towns and cities, a large disting distinguishing factor, right? Of course, like a city, much larger, um, public works, plumbing, stuff like that. Um, but it, it's the majority of this time is actually spent using a lot of the existing infrastructure of the Romans. So here's an example of, of, of a city around 1316. Um, I don't know what this is or where this is. Uh, apparently, it's a real spot. Um, you know, this isn't even a good idea. This isn't a good one. This one is, here's like, I think this is like from one of those like books back in the day and villages for the most part were kind of set up very similar to this. You usually had everything that was built around the manor. And the manor was a Lord, a knight, a whatever situation. Yeah, I just, this isn't, I think this is a, uh, um, at one point cities become walled. And then beyond that, they still they still grow. Like if you look at London, London's original framework was a walled city, and then eventually things grow out around it. So if you look at the, the Tower of London and locations around there, you actually see 
oh, this is this was like OG London. This is Londinium right here, and now it's all London outside of it. Um, but either way, a typical kind of village kind of looked something like this: one huge, one typical large main thoroughway that would act as the main port where people would put all of their um, houses off of. But villages were not small. And I think that it's when I think of the term village, I think of a small, a small breezy hamlet with a population of 200 people. But actually, they were very, 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 very like as far as the actual land encompassing them was huge because you had a lot of fields, pastures and and pastures, not pastors, uh, pastures that were tending for livestock fields that were tending for grain, of course. And you can kind of see that represented here, you know, in the background, you can see more fields, orchards, and the such in the background. And it was all pretty much built on the manor that they would tithe to the manor, then the manor would then uh, tithe out to the Lord. And again, I'm, uh, right now my apartment's getting clean, so I apologize, guys, if there's a bunch of loud ambient noise. I see you, Raider. Thank you for subbing up, my man. Um, and then there was still a build around a church too, right? The church held a lot of sway. And depending on what portion of the Middle Ages you're actually looking at, the church either owned land or it didn't, and it wasn't allowed to. Um, early Middle Ages, you have a church that was very, quote unquote, castrated. Uh, and then you have the, the Crusades, which actually consolidated a lot of power for the church, and the church started to actually kind of bring a lot of power back in, started to get very rich. It was made rich too by a lot of the uh, knightly orders that would all fly under the banner of the church. And then around like the 1600s, 1700s, the church gets curtailed again. So it's like the church, depending on what portion of the Middle Ages you're looking at, it has either really high or really low um, uh, portions of land or or actual land leases. You have to owe the church, like, hey, you, you, you're building right here? Well, the church owes this land. You got to pay the church rent, basically. Church was like an absentee landlord. Um, but... All this just kind of creates an infrastructure that suits into the manor lord, right? This guy who runs this manor. And um, it's a, beef, a, little bit of, a little bit of his story for you. The peasants, too, it, peasants weren't... I don't want to phrase this. There's people that live in a village. There's tradesmen that live in a village. There's merchants that live in a village. There are... Um, People who own farms who live in villages. And then there are serfs who tend to the farms they do not own. Um, serf wasn't always a title of someone who's like, oh, like you think of the term serf, you think of someone who works and tills a, a field and a farm, you might think that they own that, like by, by, by pop culture representation. Like you watch a movie and it's like, uh, we were born on this farm, we raise this, uh, we, we, we till this, these fields and we raise this. Those guys are sometimes just the workers. And you had landowners and people that granted that land, and then you had the people who were tilling it and working it. The serf is what we typically think of when we think of the word peasant. So when you think of the word peasant, you think of a serf. And it's not necessarily a slave. It's not necessarily a servant either. Um, there's different distinctions between serfs, slaves, and servants. The three S's, dude. <laughs> um, and indentured servitude kind of plays a like a weird kind of interjecty point in there. That's more like central central California history if you want to get into indentured servitude. But if someone was a slave, they were not paid. They were property of the owner, right? And um Right, serfs are normally owned by the nobility of the land they live on, if I recall correctly. And that's a really good way to put it, is that serfs um they still get paid actually too though. Serfs kind of live in a weird spot in between a servant and a uh, slave. A servant still, um, yeah, they're bonded to the land. Like, like you can't, like I, as a serf, I can go, oh, okay, I'm going to buy myself out. It's like, no, you, you get paid just enough to live. Like, just enough to kind of, like, buy your clothes, buy your food, and then that's it. And you belong to this land. Um, but... Servants are individuals who are paid. They're not slaves. They're not serfs. They're not bonded to anyone. They're bonded to maybe someone through just like responsibility or right of right of what they're trying to do. A servant would typically tend to a manor lord or to a king or to a nobility in any kind of way. Um, and they would tend to them. 
But if they at any point had to terminate their employment, they would. They could if they wanted to. But servants were, um, contrary to popular belief, there are there were tons of slaves, tons of slaves. Oh, the West. Um, you didn't really need slaves because you had serfs. Uh, slavery wasn't as big in Western Europe, Our Middle Ages. Expands. Um, Praise it becomes bigger in like the Renaissance. Thanks, Dutch. You can thank the Dutch for that. Um, who sit on their fucking high and mighty horses all the time. They're like, oh, ew, slavery. Who would do that? Fuck. Fuck, they figured us out. You're welcome. <laughs> but here's just a quick little like I don't I don't have a ton of uh, of of history to go into. I've actually started to recently look into how medieval cities and villages worked because I wanted to talk about it in this video, but I didn't think I would I in in like the launch stream because I didn't think I'd be able to talk about it today. But Cities have a whole different type of ecosystem and structure, and they have more, like if if you have more serfs and people working fields and lands in a village, you have more trade skillsmen, tra tradesmen, uh, more people that are not just simply working on pastoral fields, right? Because clearly you can't in a city. Um, the big difference too is walls. Um, walls are a big portion of cities and towns and villages and it just depends kind of on the socioeconomic stance of the actual manor lord itself if the guy who owns the manor is a pretty in, high individual like a duke or something like that he probably has some sort of walled situation either an actual castle um or a walled manor get your water bud um, so it just kind of depended too, like a, a baron and a, and a duke and all these titles would usually afford some fort of some sort of land. And that land would have a certain level of not notoriety, um, not illustrious, uh, 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 fame, I guess you could say attached to it. Like you, if, if you are given a grant of land by your, by your liege, um, and that grant of land is. Let's just say it's, it's like a fucking swamp in Sussex. Renown. Renown might be a good word for it. Yeah, good, good call there, nature boy. Um, you're like, oh, you, thank you, my liege. But it's a slight, right? You've given land that was basically like a, listen, this is shit land. Um, Berber's a type of carpet, of course. Berber, Berber's being, of course, the type of carpet. But yes, Berber's did have slaves. Uh, the e Eastern Europe and Western Europe had totally different uh, slave history, as it were. Um, but your land overall was um, Berbers were northwestern African nation around yes, one hundred percent North Syria. Uh, and again, that that also plays into a whole different type of history when it comes to um, North Africa, the Middle East, quote unquote, the Levant, the Caucasus Mountains, and the uh, the other fucking place. The other, it's not a straight, it's not a bearing. I don't even can't even remember anymore. Steps, other steps, other steps. But either way, um, land grants given to individuals were given the land itself had a certain type of renown attached to it. And it's like, oh, you were given this bit of land either as an insult or as a true compliment. And that land usually afforded itself uh, maybe a castle that was already created. Or you were given a right to make the castle. You couldn't just be like, I own this land, I'm making a castle. Because land, by and large, too, wasn't yours. Um, it would be yours through, like, legacy. But it was very... Church mandate is going to be renowned. Prestige of cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, so when I, was in, when I was in school, I had a history professor who would say, there's the three G's to history. Three OGs, um, gold, God, and glory. Everything in history is done for one, if not multiple of those Gs. Um, the expansion into the quote unquote new world is done for all three of them. Um, it fills you with determination. 
Ooh, thank you very much, Shade Bane, for giving out five community subs. Um, Our modest fellowship expands. Just pretty much everything in history falls sub. into one of those three categories, not all, not all three. And it, it's a really interesting thing. You can kind of trace that as you jump into more and more Our stuff. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. They forgot girls. That's part of the glory, bro brother. Our God, glory and gold. Expands. Praise the sub. The G, the fourth G, the little known G spot, which is not real. <laughs> All right, so this seems to be fine. We're jumping in here, and I don't, I don't, I don't. The Manor Lords families need food, and I, I played this, and I can't remember much of it. Um, ooh, they definitely is way different though. I fought for free Wi-Fi. Let me do this. I don't, I don't like. This is a little slow. Camera smoothing can go down a little bit. This can go up a little bit. This can go up a little bit. This can go up a little bit. That's better. It was, it was, Ark. I, I just was, I was talking about history. Okay. Yeah, the music's really good. I forgot how good they did the music in the demo. Okay. Oh, we should be okay. I gotta, I just remember how to play. I don't remember how, uh, people just, okay. Region Manor Lords are so we can see to be sure to check all the resource deposits as well as investigate the soil fertility before deciding. Man, what was the soil fertility button? So far, so good, Ark. That's how I was kind of checking. But um, we're not, the game is not launched yet. If your region has a weak fertility, consider setting up trade early. We can see underground water to build wells. Uh, specific fertilities. We're like, okay, barley. I can see, it, and th this is. This is new. The demo didn't have like this actual visual context of like, oh, okay, barley is not a good idea out here. Oh, barley is really well done over here, but not as good over here. Like I get these little pluses I like. So let's, what do we have? We have eight timber. Cool. So we have eight timber. We're gonna need to jump into that ass soon, so let's just go ahead. I don't remember. Uh, uh, workers felled nearby trees to produce timber. Workers felled nearby trees to produce firewood. Uh, okay, saw pit. Okay. Forester's hut. Workers plant trees to specified zones. Okay. 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 Um. So let's look at the fertility here. So. Emmer, flax, barley, and rye. This seems to be my most fertile spot. Even over here is pretty fertile too. Mm, less fertile, but still fertile. So it, the reason I'm looking at this is like, okay, I need to kind of plan out like, where do I want certain things done here? Uh, workers gather berries from nearby berry deposits. I don't think I know of any where they are. Oh, fire hazard, that's pretty cool. And then the wild animals, I thought there was not. I grow out, if I go out here, I can see. It shows restrictions under control. Yes. Um, no, it's, it's real time. It's real time. It's just like Bannerlord. It's Arc. This game came out. This game made a big set of rounds when Bannerlord came out initially because people it had certain things that people wanted from Bannerlord that they couldn't get. That very deposit is deep in that cookie jar. Okay, so let's.
Let's start gathering timber. We need that. Oh, there's also all this other stuff, right? Like logistics and such. We also need homes. I think it's going to show us what? Five assigned, living space zero. You have many families in the region currently accommodate. Okay, so I just have to remember a lot of this because I played the shit out of the demo. The buildings have flexible borders, place more points. That's right. Cursors will just snap. You can leave more space from future extension upgrade. Yeah, so you can actually make it so that these individual homes can also do other things. It's pretty cool. Like, I can make it so that I can add on. Um, you can add on, like, like other buildings, basically. Let's go ahead and do this here. Do this here. And that's going to make four homes with four expansions. But I can go ahead and do like this out here and this over here. Like all the way like this and like this and like that. Like you have a bunch of ways you can kind of custom build this out. So you can make uh, like little cool things like this. I'll show you. Do that there. Let's actually make this a little bit wider. Some expansion slots. Knights and merchants. No, I did not. Let's go with four. But yeah, like it, it gets pretty smart, right? It can, it can kind of go in these little things, but I'll show you what you can do. Here's four. And we could do like this. And you can build like this here. And it will like kind of like smart build the rest. It's kind of a cool little process. Did I start this? Yes, you can join them. But I don't I guess I didn't confirm this. Summer's coming soon. Soon, please. There we go. Okay. So that's gonna get built. We need to make we need lumber. Lumber is like kind of our chief thing. Uh oh. Actually, you know what? Oopsies. How do I stop this? I thought I had more lumber. Whoopsies. And they'll go and grab the lumber and do all the things. So, whoopsies. So, we have to make this logging camp first. Um, there are wild animals, yes. So, what we'll do is we'll make a logging camp here. And those little nodes tell me that I could do roads, some places where there are hand carts to transport goods. So, I can do this. Wait, a, oh, there's the curvature bar. So I could do like that. Make it so it's not just like, hey, here's just like these very straight uh, what's it called? Roads. Go like this. Reset curvature. I could put that right there. Kind of give me like an actual direct shot right into like the main thoroughway of the rest of my, my city. And then I can kind of start to make offshoots from there. Uh, there are wild animals though, yes. So right here, there are wild animals. And if I make a hunt, they'll go out and find those animals and hunt them and bring them back. Ooh, iron deposit, a rich depot. So, this is my territory, right? And, Goldhoff. I can kind of, where is my location? I can kind of start to kind of move this way. I can have the city kind of start stretching through this, whatever I want to do. What is game over? I actually don't know. I don't know. I didn't play the demo long enough to get a game over. They're going to build that, and I can... Oh, there's a button to... Nope. Nope. 
So a lot of this is me relearning, so I apologize if you're like, oh man, why doesn't you know this shit? <laughs> DMX, that's it. There's all these territories. Uh, I don't, I, I think you set the game size proper vibes. I don't know. Then you go over here and you go, uh, all human workforce have, so it's fine by default, livestock workforce is shared between workplaces. However, you can bind it to a workplace permanently in the advanced tab. Just watch out so that you don't have unassigned oxen if you're in construction. Okay. So I can go and assign family here. And by assigning multiple fam more family, they're going to just produce this more. I don't know. I don't know, Vlad. There's a specific objective, I think. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't really, I didn't really jump into it with an objective in mind. I just started the game up, and I was like, "All right, I'm learning the game. I don't give a fuck." There is an objective somewhere, I'm sure, but I don't really care. Yeah, I think I have to just beat people. Oh yeah, there's also this, which is pretty cool. You can jump into your character and walk around the city that you've made. Yeah, I didn't shoot. There's there was a bunch of different domination or like objective things I just didn't even bother with. Where's my resources? Currently showing total goods stored. Okay, construction timber. This is different a second ago. Got six timber. Okay, well I can go way more then. Let's go ahead and make buildings. So by having more buildings, this will actually encourage more people to come too. Oh, that's why I can't do that. Okay. Go small at first. A set of three. We've got little expansion slots, and I'll show you how those expansion slots work. You can't use them right away. What do you mean? I, I've got six. Underground water, so I'll make a well like right here too. That'll that'll make it so that people can kind of come and drop from this well, stuff like that. And they're gonna grab so these oxen will come and grab these logs to go bring it over here. I can kind of just do this. You, you spend a lot of the game in fast forward. You don't need to spend chopping about. This tells me, okay, I've got three families assigned. So the game doesn't assign a worker, it assigns its entire family. So everyone that can work within the family goes there. And so you can see no population growth, approval, five level one families. And you can see that that's got eight kids and two, or eight sons and two daughters. Um, and those become eventual workers for these things. So it's like those those families go and work the jobs. It's not just like it's not a one to one. Oh, I put a family here. That's one worker. Um, not oh, Frostpunk. I can't make him work. <laughs> but you eventually can make stuff like churches here. I don't remember that. I don't even know what that resource is. Oh, it's planks. Homeless, homeless will move to the plot, and if approval is high enough, it might affect new families too. However, I haven't seen more than just space to be happy. Click on the, click on the building to check their residential. Oh yeah, so that's another thing too. So resident, every residential place has like a certain requirement to level up. And when you level it up, it'll can do different things. So I can also make backyard extensions so I can have vegetable gardens. Um, I can make chicken coops, I can make goat sheds, but I can also make armorer's workshop. Um, so this allows me to kind of have these, um, it's not an accurate game, but I can, I can basically have it so that these places that are residents for my workers also can double as 
uh, production houses. So this tailor's workshop enables production of clothes and cloaks and gambesons. And you'll see as the requirements for some of these, it'll say, um, you know what, uh, they want water access and a church level. Okay, well, that'll help out this. Uh, they want this or that. Like, they can make these armaments, they do all this stuff. It's not just simply, oh, this is where they live. Nope, there's more to it. Why did I just get 22 timber out of nowhere? Let's make this. So that has good access to the underground water. And so we've got... This should tell me. Those good pantry. Good sword here are vulnerable to weather damage. You need to be able to go on a granary, okay. Then let's make a fields over here, farmhouse, pasture, sheep farm, windmill. Windmills are pretty crucial. There's many companies available, huh? That's new. then you have a granary here that can actually they'll pull everything from we can go ahead and make this kind of you can place it over here and what will happen is with people working there too we'll have these goods transported and everything uh oh we need to get our storage up quick dick our hitching post we can, we can move this too hi buddy yeah relocate I can relocate it like right here. If you remember anything, Jamo, by, by all means. Also, too, guys, if you want to support the channel, uh, this will be on the Nexus store. I think it's just coming soon right now. Yeah. It, it, if you want to buy the game, you can do it on my Nexus store when it comes live. It's not live yet. I'll ask. But that will be up there. Also, if you're watching on YouTube, please do make the switch to Twitch. It does really, really help me out. Let's go into this. I just gotta try to remember everything. Our modest fellowship. Rocky Monk, thanks for subbing up, man. Praise yes, full release is on the 26th. I'm honestly, too, not very good at these games, so by all means, guys, like, feel free to axe it as much as you want. Like, hey, why don't you do this here? Warp's Pit. Oh, that's right. That'll happen. So we've got 25 timber, too, so I can go like, oh, let's do this here, just to kind of show you, too, to make a point. Like, okay, this kind of makes an, a cool little corner house, you know? So... so what's wrong? That's not that's weird. What, I, what I've kind of like learned too is like, you just don't want everything to be so like one dimensional in this game. It makes it kind of like boring and stuffing looking. But if I do like that, you know, like cool, it makes it just a little bit cooler. I'm gonna do that and that's gonna give us plenty of room to expand. How dare you fucking ask me that, AK Wolf? <laughs> That's totally a fine question, man. Um, I don't know when I will go back to uh, that game, but it's definitely a steadfast supporter. It's definitely not something I'm looking forward to, to be honest. I've just played too much Total War in my life, and I'm just kind of making things here. They'll fill them out when they do, when they can. Um, I don't know where kitchen post has moved. That's all the way over here, so I don't think I can actually make this all the way out here. So workers gather stone from nearby field stone deposits. You, you kind of want this to be somewhat 
centrally located. And this basically grow various crops, including wheat, flax, and barley. So let's take a look here. Okay, we got a real good. We have a pretty good. Okay, let's do that. Fields of Mana Lords need to be very large to be effective, but also a new subscriber. The real rise. Swedish Knight. How you doing, man? Good to see you, brother. Uh, Fields of Mana Lords need to be very large to be effective. Oh, and also thank you for the sub. I forgot to say that part. Um, later, if you want the region to focus on farming, you consider spending a development point to unlock heavy plow upgrade, which allows plowing much bigger fields for more efficiency. Because I pressed an overlay to see where the uh, the good places to place this are. So if we want to do wheat, flax, and barley, uh, emmer, I believe, is wheat, right? Another loyal devotee. Right, Mist? Sir Geralt, thanks for jumping over here, man. So, if we press, uh, uh, also remember to check your ground fertility. Some crop types are more picky than the soil that grows. So I could make this first one, like, right here. I can really jump into this. Um, and this is kind of like, quote-unquote, my fertile crescent. <laughs> um... Flax is only good in this location right there. I mean, again, I can go out here if I want, but this is like the real nice spot. Barley, same thing. So I'm going to save flax and barley for here. Emmer will focus on like portions over in this area. And we can, you can deforest in this game. And I think you actually have to like spot deforest. Does anyone remember? Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sun. Mirex, thanks for subbing up as well, my man. Yeah, yeah. So I can I can do this and go. Hey, I I want you to do that. I was like, I know I could do that somewhere. Um, so I can go you know, adjust the size of this like this and go. Hey, I need this deforested. So now they're gonna go take that away from there, and this can expand my like little budding hamlet over here, right? Is this game cool? Are you guys liking this? Is this, is, this up, is this up the alley? I was just going to play this on my own to learn it, but I figure... Oh, does it automatically when you when you place? I, I thought that you had a deforest. I couldn't remember. Thanks, Yvaska. So if I do that... Let me just click something here. Um, saw pit. We don't need planks just yet. We'll hold off on this. We'll make a hunting camp. I might as well... Oops, there we go. I was like, why isn't this moving? Might as well have him actually take the person that's going to load in the stream. Sex mods make any game cool. <laughs> I mean, Warden. <laughs> um, but eventually you get an actual manor here, which is cool. Yes, there is actual combat to this. The, right now, it's there's not. In this stage. But you can actually, like, if I go army, I can actually recruit, like, militia. But then you cannot get actual, like, armored stuff. Um, right, but you need the actual, like, okay, so if I click here. Male villagers will be evenly distributed between all militia units. Then they will try to find required equipment. The, the weapon and shield depends on the unit type, with while the maximum quality of body armor and helmet depends on the villages, villagers' residential level. After bringing all necessary equipment home, the unit recruits are marked as ready to rally. Only then will be able to rally your unit. So... You click that, and it's like, they're going to, okay, these guys are going to go try to find halberds, and if they can, Gambison's chainmails or helmets. Let's take a look. Let's just click something, like hunting cap here. Trees up for construction, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you're right, you're right. I just figured we might as well actually try to, like, harvest these trees, because we don't need rampant expansion right now. Um, I don't even know... Uh, granary we've got up. Storehouse I did not make either, so we're going to make a storehouse. We have kind of like our main civic stuff, right? Not civic, but our main like logistic stuff. 
Um, living space is three. This is being built. I think we're good. Unassigned. So we have two unassigned. Uh, the granary should need one or two people, so we're going to put one person there. Um, which isn't much, but he's going to go pull this these supplies and put them into the granary. Yeah, for sure, Mist. Uh, right now, it's it's super bare bones, you know? Well, not even super bare bones. It's... The, I didn't get... In, did you get into combat in the demo? Did they even have combat in the demo? I, I remember they didn't. Workers collect store and distribute goods using generic storage. If needed, they will automatically set up stalls in the workplace to distribute the stored goods to the burbage. Uh, workers collect store and distribute using the pantry. Dude, Mark, I'm always here to kind of like flex on you a little bit. Just just enough though, you know? I don't want to make it awkward. Um, Shadow King asks, just curious, but do you know how the tiers of nobility work and how the merchants fit into it? I don't actually. I've never gone that far. So we're, we'll do that together. I'm going to play today and tomorrow. And I just got access to the game today. But a lot of this stuff is part of that whole process. I have not... I, I the The... During the demo, I got a pretty good, sizable location, but nothing crazy. So should we set up a field now? What time, What day is it? Where do I find time? What are we building here? Oh, there's... This is like the full-ish game. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. So historically speaking, you're asking, here's the nobility work and how the merchants fit into it. What I heard is that some merchants were considered to some of the same level as no, some nobility. Like, accountant. Yeah, it depended though. Like, it just depended on... Merchant... Merchants and merchant guilds or something that kind of arose to protect them. Um, and the guildage became part of notoriety and nobility through legacy. Uh, usually someone didn't arrive, go from, hey, I'm a noble. Number of months before supplies were now. Every Berber, okay, we need to get actually some food on, hold on. Um, so you, you didn't just go, hey, I'm a, I'm a merchant, I'm a rich merchant, I must be a noble. Nobility came Usually as having land. It was part of a land grant. Um, and you could buy land grants for sure. But in order to become Baron, Duke, all those things, was either awarded to you or effectively purchased. So you couldn't just kind of jump into it. But yeah, I mean, a symptom of being nobility and being a merchant was something that was more the later Middle Ages and less the, the lower Middle Ages. Um, like the early Middle Ages, sorry, not lower Middle Ages, like someone in like the, the 600s AD was not like a wealthy cobbler <laughs> and a duke, but someone who is maybe in the 1500s or 1600s who was the king's tailor. Um, and nobility too became something that, that meant less the, lo the longer you go into the Middle Ages. Especially when you start to get to the Renaissance and the early age of discovery and sale and blah, 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 blah. You had people made up things like the a Viscount. Viscount's not a fucking thing. It was made, it was like a made up title. And Viscount, there's like fucking four in history. I don't know. There's, there's not a lot of Viscounts. Um, but you, nobility, like t t titles of nobility were kind of handed out as like a, not as bribes, but more as like a, insurance policy kind of like hey i've got a lot of money you're the king i can make sure that money stays relatively within the kingdom if no nob nobility was afforded to me um yeah no merchant class followed after the development of urban areas and that's why early middle ages had less cities and more towns and villages and why as we get into the the, the middle and higher middle ages you get more cities with actual tradesmen with actual merchants with actual commerce that then affords itself that kind of mobility uh 
Uh, this is, I think that this is like the 1600s. Uh, who, who, was it Kiyoshi? Who, who was talking about it? Like 1600s, like, uh, what's it called? Um, Holy Roman Empire or something. I don't remember. Okay, so they want a market stall. So we need a couple things. We need more food for one. So let's do that first. This is the first year, yes. Um, the, this does have... Uh, can someone comment more on the, on the combat that's been following the game? Because you can do, like... It has combat very similar to Bannerlord. So this guy is going to get built. That'll start building some food there. And let's... Someone wants. How many requests for me? Doll. Market area. What do you mean you want a market area? It's very true. Okay, okay, guys, I actually thought of a video. And I want to I want to get some feedback from the bros. Okay, so let's do let's do this here. Let's let's pop. We could probably do a couple of these. I don't know like the measurements for Morgan and how important it is. Does anyone know? Plot points. Um, we could probably we could probably get a couple of these. You to employ families on the. Field. Farm workers pile. Field is okay, so let me do this. Let's do this here. I don't remember if I wanted to have this have one Morgan or not. I think it was I wanted... I, I want to do crop rotation, so I want to have multiple plots. Our must employs families for the work of the fields. The workforce is distributed proportionally in accordance with the fields at priority level. Crops are oh god, I remember doing all this. This is so fun. <laughs> Crops are going; they absorb certain nutrients from the soils, temporarily lowering its fertility and thus. Yeah. So what you want to do is you want to swap fertility. You want to swap. You want to crop rotation, which you did in the real world, right? To a add fertility back into the soil and not make it so that you fuck up the soil. Consider changing crop types, and I'll show you how to do all that. It's a pretty cool concept. And so what we do, too, is I'm going to place a road. Uh, am I going to place a road? I thought I did a road in between all this. Yeah, 100%. So what you do here is you do crop rotation. And you do, like, wheat, barley, wheat, barley. Like, so right now it's fallow. Fallow fields are our type of fertility, but no uh, thing. So I can do this. So right now we're going to do wheat. Then we'll switch to flax, then to wheat, and that will keep its fertility up. So then we'll do that, and I think I just did another one. I can just butt it up against it, I suppose. It doesn't really matter. Because I'm not... What it, It's not going to take... This... I haven't built the barn yet, no. Summer's coming soon. And soon I could have swore I did. I divided these with a road. Eh, there's min-maxing to placement for sure, yeah, like... I, I think I messed that up. Anyone remember? I think I used to... I think I segmented these by roads. So that you could go in... Um, and constantly work the fields. But I don't think it really matters. So this, I would probably do fallow here, crop rotation, wheat, um, and you kind of do stuff like this. So it's like, actually, I'd probably do fallow here, or wheat here, then fallow, then wheat. So you have crops producing.
but yeah, like the min maxing to this game is more like, okay, you want to make this only this big and do this and that and this and just have fun. Okay, let's go Flaxen. Flax is the basis for 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 those who play at Ultima Online. Flax is the basis for tailoring. Um, actually, we'll go we'll go we'll go Flax. And prob and what we'll do is we'll do like barley over here, rye over here, whatever. Is it? There you go, see? Funny how video games teach us so much about life. Then what we'll do first, though, is we will place a road. Actually, do road curvature. I like a little, I like a little, I like a little curvature to it, you know? When it, when it has a little, a little oomph, you know, like that, it feels like a real, you know, it, because there's, that, that made sense. Everything what I just did right there made sense. <clears throat> You can also, if you don't like what you've done, you can go remove that road. You can go like this. Get a little bit. And use control to increase that curvature a little bit. Just kind of make it a little bit more of a natural road. You can have fun with this. You don't have to have it just be like, oh, it's just, look at these, look at these perfect lines. Uh, let's rotate. Oh, there's rotate. Oh, the farmhouse is here. What, who's... I remember having a lot of windmills, though. You can make sheep farms for all the, uh, <clears throat> Welsh people. And then mines, I don't even know where... I just have this up here. If you have any questions, guys, as all as always, just let me know. We can go ahead and make a berry thing if we want to. So we're into summer. What is the problem here? Do we just need more homes? Living space is four. Do, so wait, do we have fourteen? Fa okay, so we need one more home. That's it. So, we, so these family, like, there's fourteen population, but there's only five families. Is that, in, is that in Total War Pharaoh? Increased. To get more population, you need to have enough empty bur burgage slots and your pool needs to be 50%. So what we're going to do too is, let's go ahead and make another little pop of residential. Do like something like that. We got so much timber, so we can have some fun here. Do this. Maybe make like a little... So this, is, this is a really, one of like the cooler things too is... Let's go ahead and do like this here. What? It used to be, used to be, just have fun with this. Yeah, there we go. So it's like you can make a little bit more dynamic home. So it's not just like, oh, there's this and that and this. There is a day, uh, I thought there is a day and night cycle. I guess not. Yeah, I'm gonna build a windmill. Now that we're gonna have you to see the efficiency. Uh, where is that? 90. Can I even get a full 100 or 99 like the max? Oh, yeah, it's over there. 99 will do. And then we just go. Bring that around. Yeah, 
Yeah, do that. Do that. And just kind of connect these dots, you know, have a little fun with this. I don't know if you could go between that. Right, the road's really fun. Um so burger slot it's done. We got this is all set. We'll let that do its thing. Uh this is this seems to be like priority. So we can go like this, and now that's the highest construction priority. So people are gonna make this farmhouse first for me. They'll even stop doing other things. What do you mean, stock stamina? What the hell? So that should have them go grab all that. Or does it go to the storehouse? So we can actually take some people out of this. I'm running out of fuel. What's fuel? I don't either need more food or more fuel. Check the supplies. Oopsies. We didn't we didn't actually have that set up high. Whoopsies, whoopsies, whoopsies. It's okay. It's okay. We'll be fine. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so we picked all these supplies up and put them into there. Yeah, we need a firewood cutter for sure. Cutter's Lodge. I, mean, I could put that over there too and just kind of like make this little cool thing. It's gonna be a cold winter, brother. So I've actually took people off the logging camp. We have tons of timber. We're good. And I've now... So if someone's unassigned, uh, families without assignment will work on construction, including... Adding the ox to transport timber. So now, since it's that's unassigned, um, they'll just go ahead and start working on hey, yeah. building. No oh, dude, when he said "Hey, y'all," fuck, that scared me. I don't know where where's the, where's the seasons. Where do I see that again? Ah, oh, here it is. We're in May. We'll need to dig the foundations deeper for this one. We'll at least get this up and running, and then we're going to have to swap over to... Hey, wake up! Okay, so the farmhouse is up. We can put two people into this. we will just have to fallow. Workers will... Out and sow the crop as soon as possible. Yield will increase as it grows as harvested in September during the harvest season. Mmm. If we're in May... How about you switch to Twitch, Jammo? Um, here, I'll put the sub goal down here. I mean, that can, that's fine right there, right? Also too, you can make like shrines. Um, it is an RS, RTS, but also like a city builder verified. Um, Okay, so if we have, what do you mean the sub goal is not correct? It, it dude, it doesn't. Support. It poorly updates for some reason. The sub goal right now is actually. What's my goal? Uh oh. Did I not do? Oh shit! I didn't do it. Yeah, I did April. What's April? Oh, we're at fifty out of one hundred. Where's my follower go out? What's that at? We're almost at 11,000. Yeah, it, it, for some reason, it uses stream elements and it does not update very well. 
My pleasure, Verify. My pleasure, bro. Uh, what is one of the most impressive parts of Manalo so far for you? I think it's that it's a city building game with a very comprehensive RTS system that has like formations and stuff like that, very akin to Bannerlord. It can it combines two really cool games of like a, two sets of sub subsets of genres. Um. Okay, so if we have one of these fields set to wheat, and one is set to flax, should I actually set both to should I actually set both to fallow right now? We're in May. So we take a look at this, right? We look at this in my, my face. My face away. You can see that. All right, spring, frequent frequent raining, seasonal deposits regrow. And then in summer, crops grow, possible droughts. Um, yes, you can go to a full-scale castle, AK. Um, then winter, seasonal resources are gone, firewood, so on and so forth. So, um... This is kind of how the, the game progresses through these four seasons. And you deal with those four seasons as they kind of come your way. So you kind of, it's, it's just like, you know, Frostpunk, where you're kind of building towards the frost, right? Yes, you can get full on castle. Like right now, I can build a manor, which will then become even more and more and more. Yeah, but what do you do with the fields, though, pretty Princess Sophie? Do you go with keeping them on on the on year one, right here, May? Would you put it on fallow or would you put it on actual crop? One on okay, we'll do that. I'll just have these just back and forth. That'll those, those, these will both crop rotate. And this needs to be, I think need a higher priority. Our house is all good. These are fine. This is these are huge fields. This is probably a little too large. Uh, okay, I think we're good. We need to have that be high too. So those things need to get done. Hunting camp is up. So what this means too is I'm going to set a target over here. They're going to go hunt wild animals for food. We need to get this thing finished. Yes. Yes. Likers. So over here I'll go to advance. We set the work area. I can set it over to here. Right now, though, stays as is. There's a very plot semi nearby right over here, which we'll we'll make that too. We need to get these supplies out of the way. Um, can't I use the logging camp? What? Or is it the hitching post I used to grab someone? You can grab these, you can say like, oh, put these here. And you have, I think it was the hitching post I think I have to do this. Star Militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived, and you will now be able to, root, to create your first militia banner to serve you and your protect your people. However, we need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows, either by making them or importing them from other lands. Okay. What needs to be built first?
Oh, the well's not even done? Don't mind that. Yeah, I love that. Are you talking about this? Oh, this, yeah. And I like how it does the, the, the arrow right to them, too. So it's easy to find out where they are. So I have the foresters. Just for the most part. Set right here, right? So they're just going to kind of take care of all that. Which is really fun. We're starting to build back up here. Yeah, you can walk the village. How are things going, Bartleby? But this is definitely, this is still very much in production. This is not in any way done. Like, I, my character doesn't look like my avatar at all. Steadfast supporter. Yeah, then the guy from the demo, 100%. Okay, so that well is done. We're going to have plenty of houses that are made. Oh, okay. Water access and church level. You can see, like, this is just all these guys want this church and all that action. And then out in this area, I can, like, make, like, a little kind of market and stuff like that. So you can have a lot of fun, like, really building this location out. Oh, Where's the stalls? Bloomery, Smithy, Placer, I have so much timber. So much timber. So... Under housing. Is it just this? Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't remember it being like that. I remember it being individual stalls. I mean, I could just build it. I could just build it like right here. That might be a cool place for the market. Should I do it right there? Yeah, you had to place. Oh, that's right. You create this. And then that is. That's right. You kind of establish the market location. That's right, that's right. I see, I see, I see. I was like, wait a minute, I remember this being different. Where do I, where do we place the market, guys? You think maybe right here, in this little kind of like peninsula we've created? What, what kind of, what do you think makes sense? The tavern I can make, but it requires ale. An ale you need barley to do. So I'm actually going to make it right here, kind of make it a little bit more... Um, not central, but let me take a look at my fertility. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's good. Barley, yeah, and it kind of eats up some. I was gonna place another barley field over here, flax field over here, maybe. Yeah, that's a that's an okay place, I think. And just I'm just gonna place it. We just have it, and that way it's kind of a cool little intersecting point. Uh, where do we place the marketplace? Is it in this little place right here? Where do you guys think? Right there, right there, 
over here. There's a neat market and close to the residential, but close enough to the storehouse. Okay, let's do that. Um, RTS, City Builder, it, it's kind of got a lot of things going for it, Lou. A well-supplied marketplace is liable of your town. Assigned families will set up stalls automatically as long as there is enough space in the market. Hover over specific categories to check your current supply and demand. Burger slots closest to the market get the, their market points fulfilled first. Okay, got it. Hold on. Okay. Let's just kind of take its time. We need more families to come up in this bitch. Yeah, so they automatically do it now. Yeah, because I remember placing the stalls too. That's kind of cool. I like that. That's pretty sick, huh? And I, I think that's a little bit better because placing the stalls felt funky. I, I placed a little fucking wood shack, like a little like wood stall, and it's like, here's some clothes. Here's some clothes. Yeah, I like that change a lot too. That's a good, that's a solid change. We're running out of food still? Okay, so what's our, uh, we need, are the hunters? No, we have no hunters, that's why. We can shut down the logging camp, I think, for a bit. We have 66 fucking timber. My favorite Westeros house? Uh, Baratheon, hands down. Uh, I think I have, I have pictures of my Baratheons that I painted. I don't know if families come up with this. So we got one undersigned. Okay, good. That that can be like super low. We don't we don't have any barley to supply that, so it doesn't need to do anything. Yeah, let's do that too. I didn't make I even make the barley shack, baby. I didn't even make it. What's up with these supplies? Uh do I have to I have to place someone at the at the hitching post, don't I, to do it? Do this. I remember like you could you could pinpoint them to go here. The favorite Baratheon, Renly. Storehouse people aren't doing anything. I just set them. I just took them off that. Um, let's do gathering forager hut. Let's just kind of place this to. No, come on. I want to place it right there, baby. I want this to like kind of have a cool little storehouse is right here. Billions of logs in the wood. That was it. That was it. Gathering. I thought I could prioritize a, a target, though, for them to gather, and I can't remember how to do it. Oh! I didn't mean to press that button. Well, we used 20 of our silver. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Another ox isn't going to hurt us. I would have done a horse rather than an ox, to be honest, but... But here's the cool thing, right? Like, we made this little road. Let's go ahead and actually delete that road. And then we'll come back to this. Go right here. Make this road. Get a cool curvature in there. Kind of just make that. Have a little bit more open area. And I kind of like this being our little, like, civic center. Um, um, like, public work center. There we go. I wanted it over here. It would have been cool over there. There we go. I'll make this our highest priority now. Yeah, I mean, feel free to use me as not playing the demo in the meantime. Um... I want this to be an experience that you guys enjoy. I don't want it to just be me playing and going, I'm going to play like this. Oh, fucking idiot. Now we got food stall supply set up. You will know. Oh, we don't have that. Um, okay, so can't I see where everyone's assigned? I thought there was a way to do that. Logging camp is off. That's fine. We can do... We place an order for an ox. Ox. So the ox is coming. 
I don't think we, it doesn't matter, right? Put it one to a stable, otherwise my life's not going to run away. How do I upgrade this? There's a way to upgrade it, I thought. Stable space is one. So I actually need another hitching post if I'm going to do that. The barrel with the one, is that low food or low fuel? It's low both. Uh, I've got one w one month worth of food and seven months worth of fuel. So it's showing me the number of months to combine the two. I guess it looks, it looks like it's taking the lowest of them both. Um, how do I upgrade this to a stable? Oh, oh, I need two planks. That's how. Okay, well, let's also make that then, too. I only have the wood for it. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Oh no. He's coming. We already got oh god. <laughs> oh the hitting, hitting post, where's the hitching post? Pause the shit. I didn't realize that's how that worked. I'm a dumb man. Okay, this is now priority numero uno until we can I I don't know if we'll be able to swap. Um, like, oh, okay, I've got two things here. Like, I gotta get this hitching post done. The ox is coming. He's almost here. Oh no! I think as long as we have two people working it, it'll be alright. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to pull one off of something right now just to get this hitch other hitching post up and running. Okay. At least now that's done. I don't have to worry about that ox running off. Damn, man. I, 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 we should be expanding houses by now. So we have living spaces for... We don't have fucking living. We don't have enough to expand house families. No wonder. That's right. Once we start to kind of get stuff a little bit more created, we'll be all right. What is this? this is June? We're fine. I'm not worried. We worried for. We haven't even started to. We haven't even begun sewing. <laughs> So that's done. You also eat the fucking ox, baby. So one, two, three, and four. Where's our fifth one? There's a way to see with this, and I don't remember what it is. Does anyone remember how to see where all the assigned families are? Oh, I... One... Two... Three and four. Yeah, it's how it's supposed to be. Top hits done, too. So we have a lot of stuff done, which is good. 
Logging camp is done. Hunting camp is done. And then we can actually take that off. To put back onto here. We just need to start gathering more food. That's got to be a big, big focus. There's also like a like a talent system in this game, isn't there? Oh, here it is. No, can't, I I could have swore you could do that though, right? Let, let me let me let me try then. Maybe I'm fucking it up. Which development should we take? I don't. Was this this is not in the demo, isn't it? Can't you just see this, but you can't do anything with it? Well, if you want me to hover over any of this, by all means, guys, let me know. You're more than welcome to take a look at all of it. Just keep in mind it's still in development. Doubles capacity of all berry deposits. Plow seems pretty good. Enables employing oxen at the farmhouse for significantly faster plowing of large fields, as well as bringing crops back to storage more efficiently. Um, foreign supply seems nice, though. A permanent market stall, which provides a passive income of firewood, as long as the region has enough regional wealth. Um, I don't know how that works, though. Uh, permanent market stall, again, same thing. I don't know how regional wealth really works for this. Regions not pay the transport fee must be placed on the marketplace. Trade logistics establishes a new trade route always costs a max of 525 regional health. You guys want me to go plows? You guys want me to plow you? This is good too. Produces apples. Apples harvest happens around September every year. Though the trees are fully grown, which takes around three years, the orchards produce only a fraction of the yield. Ah, interesting. The left is foraging. Top farming, right trade, and bottom military. Yes, here you can see all the military stuff. Charcoal kiln, which then allows for deep mining. Basic armor working, which allows for advanced armor working, for master armor working. Oh, so it's not the full release of the game. It is early access, as you guys can see. Plows or bees? Is bees a thing? Oh, the apiary, right? Let's go plows. So does I have to do anything for that? Or is that just... Burn the field! Oops, didn't mean that. We need more houses to get more families. Let us now hire. This plow is almost done. This thing's almost done too, the windmill. Yes, I do. So just need more workers though, man. I remember this happened to me too, like, I fucked up the beginning, and I was like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> because this is, this wheat is going to get produced. So we make the windmill, then we have to make communal ovens to produce stuff from that flour. So let's go ahead... We're not going to probably produce enough yield here. Crop growth 1%. Uh, 80 days. We're in June. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, 
Bombox Bobox. I believe that's gonna be the the goal, right? That's what people. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's kind of what the game's scope is to be. I'll go deaf from all that hammering. Yeah, berries are set up. I just didn't go set them to go. Because I'm trying to, like... I was trying to finish the windmills and shit. So let's do that. Advanced. I don't even think I need to set this actual location, right? They'll just kind of... They'll target the berries. Get your berries going, baby. So we have no workers anymore. <clears throat> but now we can, we, ha we can accommodate more. So at least we'll be able to get another family going in here. Now we can see we're trying to go up. Market food variety is going up. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Unassigned families need to do construction work. That's fine. Just let it let it, let the boy watch. This windmill. Seems sketchy. We'll unassign the families when I say we'll unassign the families. We need a whole new family to move in here, and we don't. We ain't got the. We ain't got the supplies to to supply them. So yeah, that's starting to go up, which is good. Granary. Baba Yaga, <laughs> it does. Fountain Foundation, sound absolutely. I don't even know where you recruit these mercenary companies, by the way. This goes up now. We actually have enough food to last for two months. We do need to start getting firewood, though. We're in July. We're going to need to start working towards the woodcutter's cutters lodge soon. Okay, what? I decided to do it. Let's see what happens. Why, why not? Don't we need the farmers to come work these fields? Oh, yeah, the dog. I liked it when we had the, the demo only, too. It's really fun. Crash. You guys all there? Yeah, just refresh the stream if that happens. Uh, release it's the 26th. So in just a little bit here, we're probably going to take a break. What's wrong with the stall? And just like a 10-15 minute break. They built one? Oh yeah, yeah, they did, yeah. They just built it on their own. Food stall. Look at it. Look at she's all pissed off at it too. You want fucking meat? You want berries? Alright, so food is coming up hard. Uh, it's quite slow paced right now, I mean, but I can press the fast forward button. I can press this. Oops. This, and it just kind of goes. It also speeds up the music, if you haven't noticed. Which is kind of fun. Um, but it once you kind of build everything, it becomes faster paced because now you've established an economy. This is the very beginning of the game, right? So I don't have anything established. So once you kind of establish all that stuff, you then start to... Um, Okay, so we've got 10 planks. We can actually take this guy off of here. 
this over here. And I'm going to turn this into a stable. I don't know what it does. Yeah, more, way more in the early game. It'll, it'll eventually get to a point where you're like, oh, cool, let's just, let's fucking just do its thing. Let's do that. And I think once we put that to a stable, I'll destroy this hitching post. Uh, I might general vibes. I don't know. I haven't decided. Um, what I have decided I'm going to do is all of my lore videos for Total War or for just Warhammer, I think I'm going to compile them into massive super videos. So all my high elf lore videos I'm going to put into one video. Is that something you guys would like? Or like all my dwarf videos, all my chaos dwarf videos, all my green skin videos. So it's like you can just go, oh, I'm going to click this button and I'm going to watch a two hour video and it's going to be all his lore videos. That way people, it, it kind of re-releases that content now for people again. You've got long form ways of watching it. That's all cohesive. Versus if you press like, oh, here's a playlist of all of his lore. It's just all random. Okay. Yeah, I can do that for you guys. And since things are kind of slow, I'm going to start doing that more. So like, okay. It'll enable me to put videos out when times are slow and I don't have to just kind of think of generic shitty content. It's like a way for me to say, hey, here's like pertinent content that everyone likes. Yeah, I would do chapters. I would just say like every single video I put in there, I'd have a chapter for it. A oh, fast supporter. It's clay, clay deposits. Yes, 100%. So let's take, for example, I would probably just, yeah, I would just say like, hey, here's all of the, here's the lore for all the, the Phoenix Kings of the High Elves. Boom, here you go. Here's the lore for Imric. Boom, right in this location here. But it would just you could just also click it and here's a two and a half hour video. Hey, little buddy. Give me starting over. Feeling pretty good, Mr. Rect. Yeah, and I do the same thing, Jared. Like, I watch, like, two, three-hour videos. Like, someone did a video that it's, like, they had done uh, retrospective reviews of the old Ultima games as separate videos, and they threw it all together into one big video, like, three hour long, and I watched it intermittently as I was trying to sleep. Like, okay, I fell asleep. Let's reverse, reverse back to what I remember and go again. Okay, can we, can we, is this gonna, oh, we have a lot of, like, oh, okay, I see. Now we have a stable. So, what happens if I take this hitching post and destroy? Can I destroy this hitching post? Is that a thing anymore? Oh. Well, oh well, it's fine. At least now I've got a location for more stuff if I need it. Um, then let's take and put that guy here. Um, you know, kind of... Yeah, just start start here. Just just rewatch it later, General Vibes. We just I just assigned him with someone to firewood cutting. This generic storage is full, that's fine. Any other plank-based... Things I should make. And I could move to church. That's 20 planks. I know. Um. I do have regional wealth. I can buy and make some of this. What up, machine? Um, yeah, I'm definitely enjoying it. General vibes. It's a fun. It's a fun style of game. The wheat's coming in. We should be good. I mean, I, I, I should keep farmers here, right? Farmers 
Harvesting won't begin until September, so we should be fine. It's there. Communal oven is there. Got all the wood necessary. No, I have not, misdirect. We just started this this campaign today, so we're only an hour and a half into it. So now we actually have some good stable food and fuel coming in. Well, we will have good fuel too soon. I really want another black and white game, dude. I miss those games. And we can just, see, you know, so this is a time where it's like we've set up pretty much the baseline. We're good to go. Now I can just kind of go speed up and just let the game chill for a bit. What is this? Not enough supplies. I don't know. needs more food. Oh, whoa, 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 what happened here? Where'd all five of our fuel go? All of our fuel disappeared. I'm here for you, Neo. No one chopping wood? Well, I just set up people at the woodcutters camp. Do you mean at the logging camp? Mr. Act, thank you for thank you for subscribing, man. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. People suffering from disease may stop working. Access to herbs. I'm, oh, I've got someone suffering from disease. Who's who's who's? A gleaming endowment. Hey, and five hundred bid. Thank you very much. So if I, okay, so I'm clicking these, and nothing's happening. Access to herbs now, man. I gotta make another fucking thing. Herbs. I don't even know how you get herbs. Access to herbs. Yeah, all these don't allow me to expect because I remember that being a thing. Where you could take a look at at, at your your basically your economy. Of who's working where, which is very funky. I don't know why they did that. So that's the sick guy. Got no people in it. So, we just have to get our... Basically, this just has to go up. If this goes up, we get more people coming in. I will probably have to take a break here soon, guys. Um, right now my apartment's being cleaned, so they're probably going to come into my room and clean just a little bit. In which case, I'll just put up a splash screen. I'll go mute for a bit. And we'll just... Uh, hang tight.
don't like how our fuel is gone when we have a woodcutter here. Firewood stall. Consume by firewood. Okay, I mean, is it that he put the stall in there to sell the firewood? I don't get it. All good? Okay. All right, guys, so we're going to take a quick break here. Um, I'm just going to play music, so you guys will see the Be Right Back screen, and then we'll be back here in probably about 20, 30 minutes. So just give me just a little bit here. I'm going to pop in and say I love your videos. The Baldur's Gate, they were really helpful, and I started my honor mode run today. Thanks for all the hard work. Absolutely, uh, Rioche. Rioche. It's a demo. I have a preview copy, John. So this is the actual full-fledged version of the game. Give me just one sec. I'm going to put the whole screen up here. We'll be, be right back. I'm going to... This music's just going to play. We'll, like Again, like 10, 15 minutes. Just be right back, guys.
Oh, yeah. Gameplay is stored in the balls. Is a, is a sentiment I live by. Thank you guys for bearing with me. I didn't think I'd be streaming today, so I was getting my apartment cleaned. So, we had someone in the apartment doing some stuff. You thought it was going to be that kind of stream, huh? Uh-uh, no, sir. Off that up, Bubba. Here you go. Ben. Ah. <sighs> Okay, go to your bed. You're fine now. Let's jump back into it. Again, guys, thank you so much for, for having patience there. Um, we are we are back at it. I missed this. Some people redeemed it, and I didn't redeem him. So here's puppy. Oh, he loves it. He loves it. He loves people so much. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I have to unfortunately like if uh like when the cleaner comes over I um I have to like kind of keep him in my room but he can watch the cleaner because otherwise he everything the cleaner went into and touched the, he would ha he has to smell it he has to put his nose in it he has to be next to it he's like, well, you know here what's this over here I want to get Okay, so what's up with this? Not enough supplies. Yeah, we still need to get firewood. I'm gonna pull a family off of something. I'm gonna try that. See what that does. You know, I was going to watch the Fallout show yesterday, but I've been watching Tokyo Vice, and I'm loving Tokyo Vice, so I wanted to watch that instead. Um, I've heard the Fallout show is good, though. Fuel stall supply, clothing stall supply. Okay, so we need to get this clothing stall up. I don't even know how we do that. I'm going to take a look over here. Wool to produce yarn and flax to produce linen. But does someone is there a clothier that I'm not is there just is it just simply this? Roman. Bro. What's up with you, Bob? We went outside. We played for more than we usually do. It's time to settle down. No. Settle. Thank you very much, good boy. Yeah, my expectations are super low, but apparently it's doing really well. Oh, you're fine. Tokyo Vice is so fucking good. Um, I am... Uh, just to put you, give you an idea. He just raided. Tried to do the raid on the, on the plane. And they didn't find any drugs. And at the end of the episode, you find out that... What's his name? Without saying it. Is involved with 
the Yakuza. He's clearly on their fucking payroll. I knew from the I knew the second he went to him, I was like, that guy's on fucking Yakuza payroll. And then he goes like, ah, oh, I averted it. Don't worry about it. I got it. I got you. I got you. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. There's no homelessness. Maybe there is. Okay. The cop, yeah. I mean, I, I just... For people that haven't watched it, Shadow King, I'm trying to be respectful. I don't want to spoil shit. Demolish this, but you can't demolish fishing posts. Funky. Yeah, Ken Watanabe is so fucking good. And the the main character is the character from Baby Driver, which was a really fucking good um, show, I, I, movie. I really liked Baby Driver. Both of those characters are two two characters from that that show are in really good shows right now. Three body problem and uh, the other one. Oh, I fucked this up. This is, I was supposed to place this the other direction. So right now, this is the back of the house. This is the front of the house. I was supposed to swap these. Oh, well. I don't know why my fuel's not going up. Oh no, we're coming. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Isn't woodcutters can't make the fucking fuel? Yeah, I've been watching Shogun. Fuck yeah. It's like, this is one fuel. This has nine. There's... Variety fuels, 86%. I mean... I don't know what to say. It says zero. It says, it says one. No more places consume one fuel per month as well. Every burger slot consumes one food and one per month. Fuel consumption rate. Okay, so maybe I have to do this. I mean, there's no one here, so it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, right, AK Wolf? You know, aside from the fact that it's the middle of the fucking eight, middle ages, yeah, it looks all pretty good. <laughs> We got bandits? How do we deal with this? Those box. They sold a lot of food right now, fuckers. I know you can see the paper town centers. This is still going down, man. I can't. Okay, 53. Fine. Ah! Oh, still that down arrow. I need more fucking families to move into here. 
Because we need, we just need more families. This is the problem right now. So we kind of have a lot of things stabilizing. Firewood's going up. Food's going up. But we just don't have the families to support anything else. Village doing well. Doing well, Vlad. We just need, we're just trying to grow here. We're trying to grow. We got some hides, which is good. I like how they truncated this into this. This is better. Yeah, I, that's what I was going to say. I, I have to stock the, the, the storehouse. Because this is great and all, but we need to start getting it into the storehouse. And I don't have anyone to stock it, which is a problem. Um, I could pull someone off of this. Maybe we just do that. Uh, so far, so good. I mean, if you like this style of game, you're going to love it. Um, I think if you don't like this style of game, it's going to take you some... Oh, shit. It's going to take you a little time to kind of get into it. Because it's slow in the beginning. And it's deliberately slow because the game's trying to allow you time to learn to play. If you don't, you're just going to get thrown to the deep end. I'm also playing on a very specific mode that is not too crazy. There's three other game modes. There's two other difficulties. There's a relaxed difficulty. We're on the default. Um, I don't even think I can change that from here. Oh, so if people wanted day and night cycles, here you go. Uh, John, no, you don't need actually a couple of years uh, to build up a real population. Yeah, but um, families grow quite quickly in this game. Both. Slide here. Aha! Yes, we finally got a new family. Uh oh, pause, save. We got a new fucking family. So they're harvesting up this wheat. We're going to bring it back to the farmhouse. We are harvest in. We, have, we might actually be all right in winter. We, just need to get, we need to get our fuel up. And that's going to be pretty big. Uh, like, I like Age of Empires. I, I think of it as if you're kind of like Bannerlord and Frostpunk put together. With... with I don't have a problem, like... No, it's not like that at all. I, I ordered something. I... Uh-oh. Did I not actually, like, complete the order? Roman, I do not know what that growling is about, young man. But it needs to fucking chill. Oh, that's weird. I don't know why I did that. For some reason that went to that by the wrong mailbox. Okay. 
I need to build more houses to get more. We do. We do, Danny. We have more houses. This is not out yet. This is, I have early access to it. We have, this house is completely, now it's not empty, but this house is completely empty. Yeah, it is. Right here. This house just got populated by nickel. So now we have fully stocked up houses. We're good to go. And now once we get another family up in this bitch, um, we'll be all set. Yeah, a lot of hype around it. Zedward, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, it's going to combine a lot of stuff. We we have them built, starting built, but no actual houses yet. Because we also, this is going to be our first yield of wheat. Ivaska. Yes, got another one. Fuck yeah. So I'm going to actually keep them unemployed. I'm just join one of the settlers. What did it say? Family members join one of the settlers. So that means that one family just got more people added into it. We still have six families though now. But this enables us to have more workers per family is what that means. Because you assign a family to a location, not a set worker. But yeah, we're, we haven't we haven't gotten the wheat yield here yet, Ivaska, to then actually even do anything at this at, at this location yet. We just gurgy gurgy. Where are they bringing this? Oh, they're just stacking it. Okay, I was like, where are they fucking taking this wheat? But it's gonna be once this like I mean, like I said, the beginning portion of the game are very quiet. They're very those stocks are getting soaked. Why are they down there? Why aren't they putting being put into some place like now? A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. Trapped Italian, thank you for stepping up, my bro. Julian Gorilla wants me to hydrate, you little monkey. I actually am behind on my hydration for the day, so thank you. Don't they move the, the wheat into the farmhouse, I thought? I thought it goes to generic storage. Or is it the storehouse that picks it up? I can't remember now. There's just so much minutia to all this stuff that you initially don't know. And the game doesn't do a really good job of kind of like explaining it. Um, <clears throat> hence why I'll be making guides to help explain that. Yeah, okay, good. They're bringing, they're bringing it over. Just fucking slow as shit. Yeah, the, the mill will go pull from this location now. Mm. But we need to get more fuel. Fuel's got to be a big priority now, so we'll pop that out. Put that back there. Uh, tavern, yes. Tavern's right here. I just haven't built it yet. I paused it. But Tavern helps with all this, too. So now that we've harvested this wheat, it dropped by 10% fertility. So next season, we'll swap the two. Yeah, you will definitely really enjoy this game, John. It's not too extensive, too. Like, it's very... In my opinion, it's got a really good mix-up of, of a lot of systems. So I've, I added day-night cycles for you guys. You guys want a day-night. But here you go. You can see, like, a nighttime. Um, 
But if you want not to have that, it's just right here in the game settings. I just turn it off, which is pretty cool. So we go, okay, now it's day again, right? So in case you're like, ah, it's too dark, can't see shit. I don't want to play like that. Turn just on and off. The food is good. Still have tons of timber. Good judge. I definitely could. I am going to make another field, but I mean, we have a lot of wheat right now. I guess we don't really have a ton of wheat. Rain and wheat. I could make another field right here. What's the yield? What's it like on this? Yeah, I could make another ember field right there. Yeah, I'm dual streaming to Twitch. Yes, correct. If you are watching on YouTube, please do make the switch to Twitch. But I want to do make a flax field down here, a barley field down here. Right now, I don't think we need more, though. I think we're fine with just these two. We gets multiplied. Exactly, yeah. Like, like I don't know the, the, the yield on this. But this is not a small amount. Oh. Yeah. I just need another fucking family, man. I can't afford to pull anyone off anything. I don't got cro the, dude judge this is crop rotation right now. This is set to wheat, this is set to farrow, fallow. So they'll swap each other. So next season they're not going to use this, they're going to use this. How dare you judge? How dare you, bro? So they'll swap off between these two. So next season this is going to go up. So field generate regenerates all types of fertility but it has no yield. Definitely pretty princess. That's why we're trying to stockpile as much fucking fuel as we can. Thank you, Vibes. Appreciate that, man. If you guys do have a Prime sub you've not yet used, use it on me. So we have a lot of firewood. This makes it seem like we have got like no fuel. Smithers, how are you, man? Smithers. Smithereens. Hunting camp. Okay, we have to put that into the... The meat, does meat go into the storehouse? No, it should go into the pantry. Uh, the granary. I think. Yes, a new family has started moving in. Hell yeah. So I'm not going to assign that family to anything. They're going to start building it up. A three yield is cereal, legume, fallow. Um, I can set up different. So I can click this and have it go to barley or flax if I want. And I can have it rotate those. So that's why I use this overlay to go, okay, emmer, super pr prevalent in these locations. But flax, okay, flax is really, I need to be kind of like in this area for flax. Or barley, which needs to be like kind of right here. So I can say, okay, I'm going to swap between flax and barley in these locations. Like, so here's my flax one. And here's my barley one. And we swap each one from a cereal crop to a, bar a bean crop. I mean, not, I mean it's, it's not that crazy, man. J Judge is over here playing Farming Simulator 2K, 2K24. And I'm like, uh, uh. What's your, what's your cost to market right now? <laughs> so now we've got this all set up so we can use that ox, our extra ox. I don't know the difference between a, how, uh, an ox and a horse. Eleven twenty-four. <laughs> well, as far as the game's concerned, I, I I know I got some smart asses in chat. They're gonna be like, "Whoa, ox is this?" 
And we're building out these two. Okay, so communal oven is now made. So if we need to, we can now start to produce all of our bread. God damn these bandits! And they stole some fucking grain. These little shits, dude. I gotta find a way to put an end to their, their tyranny once and for all. I don't know if there's a way, though, to, like... That's cool. If I zoom out, you can see there's my city. I don't know, though, if there's a way to, like, attack bandits or... Anything. Like... Um... <clears throat> I know you can't attack with this stuff, but I don't know how you prevent bandits. Like if there's like a, hey, here's like a infrastructure building or something. But we need planks and stone to make the manor. I don't want the manor like on a fucking hill though, you know? Man, that'd be kind of cool back here, maybe. I don't know, too, if this is a good idea to, like, make this so far, like, close to that. <laughs> you'll be able to own one soon, AK. You'll be able to you'll be able to pre-order this on my uh, Nexus store when they when that goes live. I should ask actually. Nexus. Is... I have this switch. Another loyal I don't know why it did that. It was like, oh, okay, we'll swap all these. I, there's something that's happening here. A little goods stored. Most goods default. Like, this was a different organizational tab. Now it's not. Oh, there we go. I have to click this button. I see. Okay. So, we have lots of berries. Lots of timber, planks, and stone. Shit tons of firewood, so we're going to pull someone off of this. I'm actually going to put them onto hunting. Actually, you know what? Put them to the windmill. No, Smithers, I haven't gotten there. I didn't even know you can do that. Yeah, I have to get the, the Burkage slot up. The Burrage. Which it is definitely not. And to increase that, we need to get these requirements taken care of. So church, clothing stall. To get a church. Is that planks? Yeah. I'd have to switch them back to the saw pit. Which we. Oh, we got no we more families? Psh, saw pit.
What do I have? The herb guard. That's pretty nice. Herb garden would be good. Yeah, sick. So now we have an herb garden. So people can uh, grow herbs if they get sick. Oh, Battle Brothers. Crosspunk 2's this month as well? Uh-oh. I don't think... Oof, that's not a good sign. I might That might make this game struggle. <clears throat> yeah, Mish. It's only made by one person. He just contracted out like all the stuff for all like the dev, all the, the graphic design, the UX, everything. I don't know how Anime Lord is doing. I have no idea even where he is. I assume he's right here. Oh, it's just the beta? Okay. Well, yeah, this is just early access, too. Early access launches this month. But I, like I said, I love that you can kind of see this from the map. And I can't see... I think this is... I can't see his territory yet. We haven't sent anything over there. Is our trading post done? Trade post full. I take the trading post. Um, hmm. I can I can go start trading places. Yeah, so that's this grain. Made that much flour, quite a bit of flour. Where's all of our grain? We go to the storehouse. I think this is probably we're gonna come up to this, I think. Upgrade that shit, yeah. That's going to come to be an issue soon. I don't think there's any more waiting for what? So I think... So what we did was we just pressed that button to specifically remove that family from there and go have them go over here. Rather than saying, okay, we'll just remind us one from somewhere else. So like, and that would help in these instances where we've got, uh, shouldn't I have two at some place? Nah, I thought I did. Well, if you've got like two families, you can just like spot assign one, right? Like if you reduce one here, it'll just kind of go sequentially. But maybe you want specifically like, oh, this one's got the stall. Let's move it to another person. Stuff like that. <clears throat> Who's got a pee? I got a pee. I got a fucking pee. I'm going to get 20 more planks. But... Do I need boards or planks? Me. And timber and the planks. I don't understand the problem here. Oh, I think it's because these 20 of those are spoken for with this. Or 10 of them are spoken for with this. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. I gotta pee real bad. I'll keep this. I'll just keep doing this thing.
Yeah, you should be able to. Uh, you click you click the uh, subscribe button, and at the very bottom, you'll see a little toggle, a little tiny little thing that says, oh, use Prime Sub. That's how you would do it. Thank you very much, General Vibes. Again, if you're watching on YouTube, do make that switch to Twitch. It helps me out. <clears throat> I do want this church, though. This ch I actually didn't... This is about as far as I got in the demo. I didn't make a church. The demo. I kind of like this this little, like, place being, like, a... Like another, another little, like, center. I'll make that there. It's because we're going to have the tavern here. Got the church there. Yeah, no, nothing makes more sense. Another set of houses right there. What's up, Flying Dutch? No, no worries, man. You definitely don't need to. I appreciate it, but you don't need to. You do what makes you feel comfortable. Alright, so large storehouse is all set up, too. I can't wait for you guys to see Winter, by the way. Winter's really fun. So now our storage went up to 250. Now it goes up to 2,500. So we'll be able to kind of like weather the long fight there. <clears throat> Top hit is good to stop now. Let's go ahead and switch you on actually over to the granary. That way the granary can start pulling in all this stuff from all these other locations. Uh, communal oven, making some brad. <clears throat> I mean, it's not the best game ever, Joa, but it's definitely really cool. It's in early access, so, you know, it's like... It's hard to gauge a game, you know, like that. Some resources disappear when it's getting cold and reappear again in the spring. Case in point, Forge or Hut. A new family has started to move in. Fuck, guys, we are starting... We're starting to become burgeoning over here. Another family, more families joined one settler group. See, we're starting to really pop off. You know, there's not a fuel stall nearby. <clears throat> yeah, so far it's definitely good. I mean, if you like this style of game, it's really good. But there's also a big portion we haven't even got into today and we won't be getting into today is how combat works on a larger scale and sieges and stuff like that. There's a whole nested RTS portion of this game that sits outside of the um, um, the the city building portion. Area center. Workers can't find anything together within their work area, at least for now. Okay, well then. Well, absolutely, man. If you like if you like Bannerlord, the gameplay for the RTS portions like Bannerlord. There we go. We're moving all of our pretty much we're stockpiling now into the respective locations. We should probably I don't know. See now. If my mine is all the way over here, maybe we just make the stone deposit like right here. Like, does it, we don't need to make it all the way over there, I don't think. I think we just pop it here and we can just go run up there, right? Like, there's no reason. Because this doesn't necessarily increase their yield anymore. If I remember correctly. Anyone know? Damn, these fucking bandits, dude. What's our timber situation like? 31? Alright, well, we're going to start logging it again pretty soon. Are you going to have a look at Kingmakers at some point? Which one's Kingmakers? Oh, no, it looks stupid as shit. Sorry. To me, I, like, I'm really big, like, historical buff. So, for me, that doesn't... That does not scratch any itch. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> Sorry. So we should start working towards... I mean, we can use the trading post to buy livestock. I guess we could just we could take someone this person off of this and put them into hunting. Food is fine. We'll ask the winner with that. <clears throat> I just wish I could take this. I wish I could destroy this hitching post and move this ox to that stable. This person can, there's nothing here for them to do. Can actually put you back towards logging. Just get logging back online a little bit. Um, and where's your logging area set up? Yeah, I mean, you know what? Let's have you come over here and chop this up. There we go. Stone cutters advanced. I don't know what the I don't know if I if I populate this so they'll just go find the wood or if I have to or the stone or what. Move short. Which one? Which one? Where? Oh, this. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck that shit. Yes, another family moved in, baby. Yeah, we are. Oh, we got plenty of. Oh, dude, we can start really like having fun here. So I'm just gonna put one back into here. Colony builder game? I, I, what's a colony builder game? Like, what, what qualifies as a colony builder? My my answer, I think, is yes, but I don't know. A steadfast supporter. Stormhelm, thanks for following. Um, I was actually gonna ask you guys if you want me to play RimWorld. I've never played RimWorld. change you as a person. Yeah, I just saw the Cthulhu Horror theme DLC. It came out like just yesterday or something, right? It's a part of, it's, yeah, there, there's again, there's a whole big RTS combat portion of an Angry Shooter where you you control armies and you do formations and you launch ballista and you use ballista and or ballista and you do a whole bunch of stuff. <clears throat> There's something else about this. I have to kind of remember. Hmm. So we all fold up. Oh, we can take one more. So we can actually do this. Now I'm back on. No, you use it for sieges, Dutch. You don't just like use it in the open field, I don't think. Yeah, siege only. Yes.
So we're in January. It's gonna last always with Feb. We just kind of let the stuff keep going. We got one family uh, building for us. We got one family that's all over here going hog wild. How dare you, man? Dutch, you and I both know that they, they would just throw those fucking trebuchets right into a field battle. <laughs> I want one more family to put them into this. Don't be shy, what do you consider to be uh, underwear, Filopos? And if you consider a tank top to be underwear, I'm very concerned about your personal sleeping hygiene, brother. <laughs> yes, there are sieges in this game. Maybe not in early access, but uh, they've shown he's shown some stuff off for it. No thermostat. Always these cheeky fucking Europeans who come over here and be like, ooh. <laughs> come on, come on. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, brother. I live in Southern California, where it's usually, like, hot all the time. Gee, geez, the Englishmen and their two familiar family members. Why does this keep going up and down and up and down? I can't seem to, like, regulate that. I kind of feel like we should get... I almost feel like I should have cut these in half. I mean, I could also just do this. Before I do that, though, I gotta see. Marcus, thank you for subbing up with Prime, my dude. Flax can actually kind of be, can kind of exist right there. Not really. Barley and rye have to be over in there. Rye, is, I don't have a like a place for, so it's fine. But barley's got to be like right in this location. Maybe even over here, or over here. Some bandits. You can hear how the town actually has like more to it, right? Like you can hear like more hustle and bustle, which is pretty cool. All right, so Burgage slot was constructed. The church is made. What does this do? Church level access is there. I don't even know what having a church or do a small stone church. Cool. Now we just need a clothing stall supply. What is up, Bortukali? 
I don't know what we need. I think we just need workers to produce wool to produce yarn and flax to produce linen. But to make that, we I think it needs to be through here. Enable production of clothes and cloaks and recruits all inhabitants to artisans, locking them from being assigned to other jobs. Okay, so that is worth noting too. Um, I lose access to a whole family as a, as a producer. It's going well so far, man. Another really cool way to kind of play this game is like I'm playing kind of off these roads. But another way to do this is kind of to make your own roads and then just fill in the part of the slots with them. So it makes your houses a little bit more interesting looking and not just simply like, see like I did here, right? Like I just took this whole spot. Oh, okay, it's kind of a cool little bit more of a house. You can just do a little bit more. And you can see like with the larger houses, we can expand the living space here. Doubles the max family count up to this, bur this burgage, burge house. Upgraded to a level two. Earnest to <clears throat> We still need to get the clothing supply. And we can't do that yet. But I could sit here and go, okay, you know what? Rather than building a whole other house, let's press this. And that house will be converted. It'll, it'll change this house. So I'll have another lot, another thing on its lot. And we can kind of go a little hog wild here. Um, should we maybe make... Take a look. So Emmer can be all done in here. Flax and barley. So I think we need flax. So do I make a flax field like right in here maybe? And I think we also need to make a sheep farm. Yes, there is definitely combat. We just make the flax like right here removed from it. We've received reports of a band of raiders roaming the retracting the Oh god. Yeah. No Royce, the the early access was today, so a lot of people are now jumping into it. I just don't know what it, how it works for the fertility here. You know what? Let's let's do what they call the old experiment. Let's do. Why is it doing that? You not? No. Snap it to the roads. for the attack, okay. Make a field. Yeah. Let's try that. I'm gonna experiment with what this means, fertility-wise. So clicking on it. So flax is 45, so I think it's like if there's a certain percentage of it. Like that. I kind of just wanted to get an idea for it. Barley is definitely not going to be done here. And you can see too, like, uh, where is it? This had little context clues on, like little pluses. I don't know where those went. Now if we have flax up, we can do that, and we can make a sheep farm. Again, for all the Welsh, who will really appreciate that. This doesn't seem like a good place for anything. Yeah, so what we'll do here then is sheep farm. Oh, 
Why can this not be placed? I don't get it. Hmm. Like too steep of an incline or something? Too far away? Actually, you know what? Sheep farm. Oh, flax is super fertile up here, too. Not my, how do I know what my control is, though? Oh. That's how I know. It's not in my, it's not in my like, my county. <laughs> so flax and barley, all right there. Flax and barley can be up there, too. Where do we put, where do we put our sheep fucker farm? Kind of want to leave some... If it was Pwn and I, the word yearn, the word the world yearns for Sasquatch. I don't know. I have to look at the game, man. I haven't looked at anything for it. <laughs> cool. It comes from using sheep. So let's do this. Fern's always here, just lurking, man. That's what I want, like a little curvature here, you know? Too much... I don't know, so we buy livestock from here? Village are going well. Uh, how do you get money in the early game? Setting up trade, I think. We've stabilized a lot of our stuff now. I have tons of food, tons of fuel. I just don't know how to really go get. Let's find out. Doesn't doesn't tell me necessarily. We do need some more planks. I don't know how. See, it says establish a trade route after putting uh, major goods here. See, like, I don't really know.
I don't know if any of this is like. Livestock is set. What is that? I'm gonna have to wait for this to be built before I can do that. <clears throat> you wouldn't even go there? Oh yeah, we're carrying some too. No, I can't do that. Could you guys, could you guys do this thing I'm trying to talk about? We made it into a full year, baby. Got a little, a little burgeoning village. Okay, now we have that. Uh oh. Coming to me, aren't they? Oh no, they're. Oh, dude, look at this guy. Look at this guy. It's all fucking yoked. A flock of crazy geese. Light mercenary spearmen. <clears throat> So this is the RTS portion of this. There's two units of stuff here, you know? So that guy looks like they're going to go deal with the bandits. I'm over here just resting on my fucking laurels. So that kind of tells me we need to get some trade set up. What do you mean? What are they waiting for? And we have to... Do some, we have to like we have to start producing something to trade. That's another thing too. I think so. Kind of just thinking like if I were to restart this, um, we need to get crop yield up quickly. That seems to be like okay, order number one outside of setting up like your granaries and your storehouses and stuff like that. Um, okay, is this all built? Yeah, I need that. So we have some on the sheep farm. What's up, Pex? How you doing, man? It's been so fucking long. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to get the livestock. They're plowing this field. I'm gonna start plowing that field. Okay. I guess, yeah, we really can't do anything with leather right now, can we? We can export this. So what do I do here? Maybe reduce this number? No, they, they make the route. I don't know if I need a horse, though, to do it. Here. Uh, enables trading with visit what the visiting traveling merchants trade point trade points and trade posts in the other regions. Regional wealth is the currency used for trade. When employed, one family member travels to nearest possible destination to conduct trade, while other family members help manage the inventory. If needed, assigned families will automatically set up stalls in the workplace to sell imported goods. Uh, uh, let's go back to this. Current surplus. Desired surplus. So yeah, we want to sell down to one. And we don't really have that. We're not that step yet. We need to try to get... We have to get clothing online right now. That's a big step for us. So... We're going to have... So we should probably actually have... Sheep farmers there. Collect... Workers, workers collect wool. Gazing sheep. And we're going to need Weaver Workshop eventually. I just don't, I don't have the means to, um, kind of like how we have this, like, this is like, it was like our hub of a bunch of like different production means. 
I don't have... Like, okay, we have pasture space. Space for your sheep lambs to graze. Without enough space, animals may run away. I just don't have livestock. So I'm trying to get money, I suppose, regional wealth, to do that. But I can't even... Even if I had it, like, where, where do I buy that livestock? That's my question. Do I have to first set up a, a trade point? So I need 20 more planks. So let's set that up too. Oops. Well, yeah, too. And like, I think it's going to be really easy for people to play this game and just be like, oh, I'm just going to make a bunch of roads and have it very, be very geometric. But having like the word, like the roads kind of curve around and stuff like that is, is a very kind of cool way to do this. Okay, I think the manor goes right here. Get a big old like cool ass manor right here at the, the top of the town. A livestock trader? Well, I think it's the trader is the livestock trader, right? Hitching post, pack station. What's the pack station? Set up a barter connection, allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region in your command. Yeah, I don't have that yet. Uh oh. We just expanded this house. So we can actually take. I think we're all set up, actually. You're right. We assigned a trader. We did that. Let me do this first. Let's do some more burgage of burgage plots. So you see how like I can do this? And now this whole thing is a big old plot of land. And I can see that I can also expand that territory with one of them. So you can kind of get some pretty fun stuff on here if you, if you do this right. So if I go, let's say we'll go down here and we'll go over to here, do that, put this there and that like that. So we got two expansion slots on those, kind of like that. Let's do that. That's going to place a bunch of slots, and it won't be very just... It's not just, like, generic, right? Like, it's a really cool way to play the game. Where you kind of make the roads... You make the roads not just be, okay, grid, 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 grid. You make the roads curve a bit, and the and the houses will fill those spots in if you do it right. But we need to... I'll do that. We don't need the stone right just yet. We'll be able to have 15... We only have 10 families right now. So we've got two slots, right? Um, for families. We need more families up in this bitch. Yeah, I, it's one of my favorite things about this game. That's how we took this little spot and we expanded it. And now it can actually have two locations. But we need to... Right now, if we don't get the clothier online... And it's also worth noting, this turns this entire workshop into a tailor. That will enable us to have a clothing stall. Yeah, and that's that's one thing I like flying Dutchman's, right? Like they weren't geometric. They were just fucking hop off. They're hobbled together. So I like being able to kind of set something up like that. We have workshops over here. Okay, good. Yeah, we did. Okay, cool. But I still don't see the means. To get livestock. Because it says here. Okay, maybe we get in here. This is not alphabetized. This is that, that, ooh, that's not alphabetized. That was rough for me. Sheep. Okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. 
I mean, the game's still in very much in um, in production, bros. Pasture. Okay. This says sheep grazing on the pasture is slowly multiplied. That's it. That's it. Foreign supplies, firewood cart, food cart, logistics for trade routes, apiaries, doubles capacity of berry deposits, enables hunters to skillfully lay traps, which gives a massive passive income of meat. Yeah, and that's, that's where we're at, Ace. We're over here at this trading post, and I can't figure out how to get access to livestock, food, crops, construction, military, um, commodities, <laughs> comedies. I was like, what? I don't see a livestock trader anywhere. This is to order a new horse. Advance is permanent livestock assignment. People transporting going home. Livestock in general. Let's go back to construction. Here, I'll, I'll pause this. This is trade. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about anything. I don't want to discuss it. I don't want to say, hey, you guys are right. I want to never play this game again. And I think it was made by charlatans and hobgoblins. This is not a game meant for humans. I will never ever play this again. This is the last time you'll see this game on this channel. I'm so glad we could all I'm so glad we could all jump in to say, "Hey, look, this guy is a fucking idiot." <laughs> all right, guys. So thanks for joining. Uh, go fuck off. <laughs> Julian, you'd love it, man. You'd a bunch of sheep. This is now the highest priority. What game is this? It's not this game. It's not this game anymore. Right? Well, I've been making Welsh jokes all day. Um, this game is actually the next game on the list. This will be the game that I play on the channel. Bad. I hate you. Okay. I am for more gold. I think that signals the change of a season. A new family started to move in. What's the uh, problem here? It's very good. It's very, very, very good, man. The sheep are afraid. This game is coming out on the 26th. I have early access to it right now. Why does this keep going down, baby? What's wrong? What's, what's going on here? Yes, crop rotation is a mecha mechanic. Dude, this guy has got like a fucking furious army. If he ever wanted to fight me, he would roll over me. So, But just to kind of give you guys an idea, you would actually control this like an RTS style. I mean, Julian, calm down. <laughs> People are watching. Do we have people to saw pit? No, we don't, do we? Okay, so I need a family here at the saw pit. And I don't know what the fuck is taking this so long to... Okay, good. 
It's got plenty of storage here. I'm gonna chuck that over there. Um, I think if I put someone here, it speeds up a lot of the like moving things from to and from. This is gonna allow me to establish a manor, which is nice. Fucking bandits, man. <clears throat> Duke, what's up, man? Or Plata. What do you mean? You knew we would be here. You knew this would come around. Oh, there's bandits all right, babe. There's bandits everywhere. Species, spicy bandit. Okay, so our fuel is low, is higher, our food is low, so we need to actually put someone back onto foraging with us. Uh, where's our, okay, that's there. We're gonna get a big yield of that in, in, due, in due course. Can't eat flax. Uh, but yeah, so the crops are rotating right now. So right now we have wheat planted, we'll fallow into the wheat again. This fallow, this uh, yielded wheat before, now it's uh, fallowed and we're gonna have wheat again. That'll be there. Okay. So we need... I need a sheep. Import. One sheep. It's gonna cost me 30 fucking ducats? Yeah, I, I have to get this that will allow them to passively breed. Which means, it's, I mean, but how do I jump up on that? Just have to go to the medium level? Okay, so, and why get the medium level? By getting the fucking clothing stall supply. I mean, I could probably actually even cheat here. I mean, cheat. But if I import clothing... Import for 16. After paying a established trade route, a dedicated traveling merchant will regularly visit your region to trade only this specific type of good. So, I can pay 30... I, I'm not going to do it right now because we want that sheep. 30 fucking ducats for a good sheep, man. Gotta have, gotta have a huge set of dicks. Just one, mul not, not one dick, but multiple. I could buy this and he'll import clothes for me and I can sell those clothes. I don't know what having a guy here does either. Fulfills one level of faith requirement for the burgage slots. Provides hallowed ground for burial of the dead villagers. Workers become grave diggers. Okay. Is that for the corpse pit over here? We get our sheep. Go get the livestock. Yeah, if we got attacked right now, I can't even. I can't even supply a bandit. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Doesn't seem to be empty. Why is this generating money for me? Right? It looks great. You guy did a guy did a badass job, man.
planks we have? Or eight planks. We need more planks. The work area is empty. Okay, well that means we just do this. Advanced. Do that work area. Make a new work area. Because now this is all cleared off. These are no longer actual trees. So I can swap over to here though again. And just start kind of opening this up so we can get back into like expanding out this direction, whatever. Because this is the edge of our territory. So there's no reason to really kind of move over here. But now I've expanded this out so I can if I want to. And we can make, in due time, our manor, which I think will go like right around here. I don't like it. I don't like it, Sam. I am. I don't like it with eggs nor with ham. A stone deposit. We've already, we've almost depleted the stone deposit. And I can limit the amount of animals I hunt. So I've hunted this an wild animal spot down from 21 to uh, 9. And it, I can kind of curtail how hard I could jump into, which is really cool. We do have rich or iron deposit, though, I want to take advantage of. What do you guys like in this game? Do you guys want me to stream it tomorrow as well? Um, it's either that or I start a RimWorld game tomorrow. Yes, stuff will repopulate. Everything repopulates. Even the trees. Like these... These are the trees we initially cut down. These trees are starting to come back in. Am I good? Okay, uh... Should have more lords. Okay, so we have... We have a... Sheep that we fucked in here. How much wood do we have? We have a lot of timber, don't we? Yeah, 37 timber. In my cools. Or it's so easy, brother. Okay. So we will play tomorrow. Yeah, well, hopefully we'll make it to skirmishes. I mean, I'm kind of just blindly groping around, learning things to how I would kind of apply this to like a video on like how to learn the game. Um, because there's no point in me doing like a, a beginner sketch to this game until launch. But what I will do is, what is that? Weird. Ooh. Um, I'll do like, hey, here's like a hype of video, so how these things work, here's what this is like, what kind of game is this, what should you expect, stuff like that. Hey, thank you for General Vibes, you figured it out, man. Thank you very much for subbing up, bro. Yeah, it's kind of stupid. Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, AK, okay, it does get crazy. I think this church bell founds every month. Oh, I need to put a person in that fly out of the way. Isn't this working? Uh, I didn't get into them, Shadow King. I never got into them. And then I got into these games, in, into CK3, and I was like, oh, you should play these games if you like that story of uh, that part of history. And I've downloaded them, and I'm like, oh, God, no, man. 
Vic, Vicky three is I do not like, and in my opinion, uh, yeah, I know, right? This is not going to be fun. Okay, in my opinion, Vicky three is not a good game. I'm not saying it's a bad game for other people, but for me and what I like in a game, it's just too much. It's too much bullshit. It's not very fun. It's like Market Simulator. Um, EU four and same thing with the the Roman version, like the classical era one. It it's not as streamlined as CK three. Those games feel like the kind of engine of ck2 and ck2 is just too much ck2 is is it's got the worst ui to navigate for all these little tiny buttons like if i was taking a look at this thing like let's say that like i can't even think of an example let's say like i was looking at a big menu there would be a button this small that i have to press that unlow unfurls a whole set of other menus ck2 has just a miserable ui that is mimicked in both EU4 and in um, Roma Invicta or Invicta. What, 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 what's the other, like the classical era one? That is really cool though. Yeah, I, do, I mean, I love CK3. CK3 has a streamlined, really well done um, thing. UI, UX, I guess you could say. Imperator, Imperator Rome, there you go. Okay. So guys, I think we're gonna that's a good place for us to stop right there. We're gonna save. I got a whole and we'll come back here tomorrow. We'll jump into this. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Um we didn't do a very long stream today because I wasn't even planning on streaming. Um, but we will do a typical long one when we jump back into it uh on uh, Tomorrow, we'll do like our typical like 10 a.m. until whenever. I definitely agree with you, Dutch. CK2 has a lot of cool stuff like Republics and stuff like that that you just can't touch in CK3 yet. But yeah, it's, the UI is just so rough. All right, Pex. Yeah, go have fun, man. Yeah, 100% Shadow King. 100%. I, the only reason I don't like EU4 and Imperator Rome is just it's the UI is really clunk. Really hard. Who are we raiding though? Let's see. You guys, if you're watching on YouTube, do you make that switch to Twitch? Let's do a raid here to, cl to close out the stream. Is it really a new game plus plus? That's pretty sick. You guys want to see more Mana Lord? I can send you over to more Mana Lord if you want. Another loyal devotee. Another loyal devotee. Thank you very much for following over here, bros. Maybe I'll send you to your lucky Clover because she's such a fucking spaz. I love her. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, I only really started doing restream again because they they removed the uh, the restriction and I had a huge Baldur's Gate following. So I was like, oh, I'll just restream it that way people will kind of see it again but um oh you know we'll raid noob noob nath nubius nath he's the best man he's such a cool dude all right it sounds good plata press x to go out all right guys so we'll be back here tomorrow 10 a.m pacific standard time jumping into more of uh this ass uh, what's it called Manor Lord. I'll have some more fun with it. I might play a little bit on my own. Let me actually, can I save this as stream? But yeah, now I've got a, seam, a, a stream version and I can maybe play a little bit on my own and learn more. Um, or maybe just like, cause there's also main menu, new game. You can, I, I imported an actual thing here, but let's just press continue. So you can see the scenario templates are rise to prosperity. Fulfill the requirements of your citizens. Plan and rule your medieval town. Uh, two territories in the north are claimed by intelligent bandits. Bandit camps are side of the others. Then expand your own pace. Then when you're ready, challenge the baron. On the edge, survive all attacks. Reach the large town settlement. So it just depends on how you want to play. But guys, thank you so much for watching here today. Thank you so much for all of the subs, everything like that. I had a ton of fun. I'm excited to show off more of this. But... Have a good one. Take care. Wash your hands. Stay safe. And I'll see you bros tomorrow with more Manor Lords. You too, Putrid. Have a good one, bro. 
you too, Shade. All right, let's get this raid going over here to Nubius Nath. He's a good chap. He will uh, love the. He's only. He's got a small raid going or a small uh, a group going right now. So, oh, raid going now. <laughs>